Okay, suppose we want the lowest common multiple of 42 and 12. We use calculator. Math. And immediately it comes up here, lowest common multiple, 2. I can either go down to it, or I could just press 2. I've gone down to it. Lowest common multiple of 42. Enter that. And then have to put the comma. The comma's here, so it's in blue. So it's second comma. And then 12. And that will say the lowest common multiple, I hit it twice there, is 84. Four. Highest common factor? Again, okay, math. But here it doesn't actually call it the highest common factor. It's got the greatest common and it uses D for divisor, a number which goes into it. So greatest common divisor it is the same as the highest common factor. So press 3 and then we've got 42. Again, second the comma and 12 and that gives us 6. So we've got six is our answer for that. We can obviously look at the prime factors and see where we are. So if we take 42 and turn that into our prime factors, go down here until we get prime factors, enter that. 42 is uh, 2 times 3 times 7. And we wanted 12. I know we know what it is. Math. I can just press 4 this time because I know where it is. That is uh, 12 is 2 squared times 3. So I quite like bringing into Venn diagrams. And so what's shared? Well, one 3 is shared, so that goes in the middle there. And one of those 2s is shared, so that goes in the middle. What's 12 got left? And 42 got left. 12 has got a 2 left there. And 42 has got I've to use a 2 and a 3, so it's got the 7 left. So our greatest common divisor or highest common factor is 6. That's the numbers shared in the middle. And the lowest common multiple is all of them times together. Well, obviously this lot comes to 42 because 2 times 3 times 7 is 6 is 42. So it's going to be 42 times 2 is 84. And so that's where the 84 comes from. It's where the 6 comes from. But our calculator will help us an awful lot. And uh, that's that done.